Welcome to this banana bread live stream. Today we will bake some delicious banana bread and our end result is going to look like this. I will show you more pictures. So like this. That's what we are going to bake today. Ingredients are pretty simple. I hope you have everything prepared, but even if you didn't, wait, I'm gonna pin what we're gonna do. Banana bread baking. Oops. Banana. Okay. Pinning my comment. So that's what we're gonna bake. This is one of my um, most popular recipes of the Pam app. It has over 100,000 likes in the app and it's also a free recipe. So if you want to read the ingredients and everything while baking now, you can just head into the app and um, have a look there and then do it together with me or do it at a later point. I'm most likely, no, I'm not going to save this live stream. So this is a one time chance to bake with me, but otherwise you can of course find the recipe here. Wait, I'm going to open the live stream on my computer as well, so I can read your comments. And then we can also make this like a Q&A session for everybody who doesn't want to bake today. Hello. Let me know in the comments if you are baking with me or if you are just watching. Okay, comments are open, so you can also ask me questions if you want to. Oops. Okay, so the ingredients that we will need are, we need 100 grams of whole grain flour. I'm using spelt flour, which is Dinkelmehl, also 100 gram Dinkelmehl. Then we also need 50 grams of ground nuts, gemahlene Nüsse. I am using ground almonds, also gemahlene mandeln. And if you don't have ground nuts, you can also put whole nuts in a blender and then just blend it until it has those flour-like texture. And then you have the same. We need 50 grams of oats, 50 gram Haferflocken. You will need a tiny bit of coconut sugar. If you don't have any, you can also skip this one. Then it's even healthier, but I'm gonna use like one and a half tablespoons of coconut sugar. We need 250 grams of bananas. Mine are very brown. <laughs> and that's also what we want if you wanna bake banana bread. Brown bananas are amazing. And if you have yellow ones, just put them into your oven right now with the peel and put your oven to 180 degrees and then they will be brown in a moment and then you have an easier time mushing them for your banana bread. Then we also need 80 grams of dates and we will chop them in the banana bread to make them taste like a very soft kind of caramel because first of all, this banana bread, banana breads are often like super mushy and they have like one texture for the entire banana bread but I wanted to create one that has different textures and we have some date chunks which taste like caramel in there and we have oats and we have flour and we have ground nuts and we have chocolate chips. So it's kind of like a mixture of more things. And we're also going to treat the banana differently in a second to make it more exciting and not make it like an homogener pie, like not a mush banana bread, but an actual exciting banana bread. Then we will also need one teaspoon of cinnamon. We will need salt. You will need some dark chocolate. I'm using my cinnamon chocolate chips. We need 20 grams or more, depending on your taste. And then we also need 30 grams of coconut oil. Tell me in the comments if you are ready to start baking or if I should continue talking until we get all of your ingredients. Um, and who has ordered my new nut butter? This one is empty. But I was super nervous this morning because every time I launch a new product, I have to say I am pretty nervous. <laughs> So 
sorry, somebody just called me. I am back. Um, so I'm super nervous every time I launch a new product and then at night I cut all of my stories so I'm like ready in the beginning, uh, ready when it's launching in the morning. So I was awake until 2.30 yesterday night. So this is a face that only got a little sleep. Um, but I think I survived <laughs> and I think the nut butter launch went well. Um, and please let me know if you ordered it because a lot of people say it tastes like liquid heaven in a jar. Mm. Vier Stück bestellt. Perfect. Okay, my oven was beeping because um, you got a preheat your oven to 180 degrees. I'm using Umluft, so circulating air. And I guess we are ready today. Okay, let's start. So first of all, you will take an, you will preheat your oven. And as soon as you preheated your oven, you can take a bowl and then you can either take ingredients in the bowl. So you put the ground nuts in here. 50 grams, you put the spelt flour in here, which are 100 grams, you put the oats in here, 50 grams, then you optionally also take the coconut sugar if you want to use something, then you could also use baking powder now, which I still don't have, whoever joined my last live streams knows that I for some reason cannot find baking powder in the Spanish supermarkets so I'm going to do it without it but add your baking powder one teaspoon if you have something now we add salt I always like it salty but otherwise you can also use less and then we also put the cinnamon inside of here so everything that is dry on your table except for the chocolate chips comes into the bowl right now Oh my gosh, all of those spam and porn comments. Annoying. I wish Instagram could fix this. Okay, and then we stir everything together. Oats, flour, ground nuts, and just make sure it is like nicely combined. Nice. And next we um, will continue with the bananas. So we need 250 grams of bananas um, and I'm weighing them without the peel. So erst mal schälen und dann wiegen. And 250 grams are going to be approximately two and a half bananas. Have you tried the new, um, whoever is not baking and can type into the chat right now, have you tried the new sweaty dance workout? If yes, how did you like it? Tell me. Okay, I got 200 grams, I need a little more. No, I don't have extensions, those are my natural, that's my natural year. Got it from my mama. My mama also has very long hair. Okay, 250 on the spot. And now we are going to do something special. Normally for a banana bread, you just mush everything into puree. But since I want the texture to be more exciting, we take approximately half of the banana and then, wait a second, got to clean it up here. Um, we take half of the banana and cut it into slices. So we also have like chunks, banana chunks in our banana bread. And then the other half we just um, mush to a puree with a fork or a knife. So half of it in slices and half of it 
into a puree and the slices can be pretty thick because they will get soft in your banana bread anyways. Why did you move to Spain? Um, so I didn't fully move to Spain. I'm gonna be like half half in Germany and in Spain. Um, but I chose Ibiza because we were always coming here as a family like our entire life. I think we've been to Ibiza like every year. So I kind of know the island. Um, and I just think it's a very, very beautiful island and it's way more than just like a party island, like what a lot of people say. Um, I love the nature, I love the cliffs. It is very easy to reach from Germany. Um, and it's a small island. I know this argument is like weird to some people, but since I do a lot of photo shootings and video shootings and most of it is usually done during sunrise and sunset because the light is the nicest there, I definitely wanted to be on an island so I can have sunrise and sunset, obviously. If you are, for example, in Spain, in the country Spain, you only have the sunrise and the sunset is like behind the mountains and you cannot see it on the horizon going down into the ocean. And for example, Portugal only has a sunset and not the sunrise. So I definitely wanted to um, go to an island. And then I also thought about the Greek islands, but they are like way further away from Germany and harder to reach. So Ibiza was a very easy choice for me, mentally. And then I had to find a house. <laughs> but like choosing Ibiza as a location was an easy choice. Can you use something else than banana for the banana bread? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> okay. Um, so we cut half of the banana and slices half of it into puree. And then you take the stones out of your dates. And then we also chop, chop them like very roughly into pieces doesn't need to be like perfect, but pieces of this size are good. If you take very soft ones, like medjool dates, it's going to be even better in your banana bread. And in the meantime, depends on where you are, if it's cold or if it's warm, your coconut oil will be solid or liquid. So I want it to be liquid, so I'm just going to put it into the oven while I do the rest and then in a couple of minutes it will be um, liquid. Good. Okay, um, chopping the dates done melting the coconut oil happening as well and then we are going to mix all of the wet ingredients in a separate bowl as well wet is um, the coconut oil the banana and then also if you are using baking powder or natron and you want to activate it with like a teaspoon a tiny bit of vinegar that one would also go in here, but since I don't have baking powder, I'm also not going to use the vinegar. And don't use the banana slices yet, only the banana puree. Because we are going to fold the banana slices into the banana bread in a second. Mm. Okay, I gotta wait until my coconut oil is liquid. Mm. Can the coconut oil be replaced? Yeah, you can use any other oil. You could use butter, that's, that's fine. But you could also use even olive oil, that would also work. Mm. Yeah, if you don't have coconut oil, use any other oil or type of fat. Um, if you don't have any kind of oil at home, you could even use nut butter and then maybe a bit of water to make it more liquid. 
checking on my coconut oil. Okay, it's liquid. We are ready. Putting the liquid coconut oil in here. Ah, forgot. We also need 50 milliliters or grams of plant milk or water. Like that's just a big kind of zip. It's, yeah, that would be like three or four big spoons. And then we combine all of those ingredients. So combining everything that is wet. Baking powder is called Polvo Para Onia. Oh, it comes out in a package but in a small tin. Ah, thank you. I mean, I'm leaving soon, so I will not need it anymore. But if you have a house, there is always another year and another banana bread, I guess. house tour. I know this is a highly requested topic, but I'm not going to do a house tour because yeah, my family asked me to keep some privacy in this house. And I mean, you see a lot. I mean, you see the kitchen, you see the living room, you see my terrace. You see a lot like in my daily stories, but I'm not going to do like an official house tour because I was asked not to do it. <laughs> okay. Now we take all of our dry ingredients, so um, the flour and the oats, etc., and put it into the wet ingredients, and then we stir it. I'm gonna do it like half, like only half of it inside now. Stir and then the rest, and do not over stir. Like you don't have to go crazy now. Just make sure everything is evenly combined. Okay, other half. No, I'm not gonna save the life. The lives on YouTube are saved. I hope you were joining yesterday. And today I'm also going to think about the new workout plans for next week. Because as you know, in Pemuary, so in January, Pemuary, we will have new workout plans every single week and live workouts every single week and live bakings every single week. Because I wanted to make our January as exciting as possible and to make also your start into the year with like healthy diets and goals and sporty goals etc um, as yeah as exciting and as easy and as happy as possible so we do have some highlights every single week that kind of lead us through the first phase until it hopefully became um, something to you that you are used to and that you can then follow yourself without my guidance every week so that was my plan and i hope you like the primary also we have in the app we have like a 30 day recipe challenge so i'm doing like weekly plans of one recipe per day so you try something new every single day um, and you don't have to change your entire life at once but you can just try one healthy and delicious recipe every single day and then hopefully love some of them and then you have new ideas for your future diet and you have um, tried something without putting too much effort in it every day because we can all try one thing a day but like changing everything at once is not always necessary because we can go small steps and small steps will still lead to our goal and then we can taste the batter see if we like it yes and now we will fold in our remaining banana pieces, except for a few for decoration. I'm keeping five and then put in the chopped dates. 
Mm. And then also some chocolate chips in here. Also keep some on the side for decoration because it looks extra beautiful if we put chocolate chips on top. And now stir it again, but make sure to not destroy the banana pieces. We kind of want to keep them in there and make sure they are not becoming a mush themselves. Is the word mush? I said it like 20 times already. Okay, that's it. So our batter looks like this and it also tastes very amazing. So if you want to taste it right now, feel free. Basically looks like a huge porridge. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I am reading sometimes. I lost 10 kilograms doing your workouts, so I just wanted to thank you. 10 kilograms is amazing. That's so much weight and you can be very, very proud of yourself. Das Rezept mache ich jetzt seit über zwei Jahren. Es ist einfach super lecker. Yes. I also love it. Okay, mm. now we gotta pour it into our pan. Uh, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the smaller or the bigger one. That's it's schwer. I think this one is too small and this one is too big, but I don't have different ones here. I'm gonna start using the smaller one, and if it's too small, I'm gonna change it to the big one. And then also, um, for a pan like this, I would grease the sides with coconut oil or any or butter or something to make sure it doesn't stick. Ah, do you think the big one? Ah, maybe, maybe I was wrong now. Okay, I'm gonna try with the small one first because I have greased it with oil now. Problem, problem, I know. We had to have one problem here. Okay, putting the batter now. Let's cross our fingers that it fits, but it seems very small. Ah, no, I think it might. Mm -mm -mm. I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. It's gonna be a bit higher, but since I don't, don't have baking powder, it's not gonna rise anyways, like not as much. Looking good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that actually was perfect. Mm. Looking like this. And now I'm going to decorate my remaining banana pieces. And making sure everything is nicely on the side. You don't have to press it down. Just make sure it's even. Decorating the rest. Mm. Okay, that is too much. And now decorating the chocolate chips. Press them a bit into the dough so they don't fall off later. Okay. Let me show you the result. And then we put it into the oven. Looking like this. And then we put it into the oven for 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how high it is. I'm going to check after 30, but usually it's done after 30 for me. Again, oven is at 180 degrees. <coughs> Almost choked from a chocolate chip decrease. Okay, 
back again here. Let's do a Q&A while we wait. We have 30 minutes for any kind of questions. Clean your fingers. Lick the last bit of dough that is left on your spoon. Mm. Was kann man jetzt statt Backpulver nehmen? Ja, gar nichts. Ich habe einfach nichts benutzt. Ich glaube, das ist okay. Yes, this recipe is in my app and I also linked it at the very top. So if you open your app right now, if you open it, you will find it right here. It says live baking. And if you click on it, you will get to the banana bread and it's a free recipe. You don't need to sign up. You don't need to pay. You just download the app, it takes two seconds, and then you will find the entire recipe here. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Here. And then you can also increase the portions if you like to. Um, if you want to bake a bigger one, you can just click on plus, plus, plus. And then all of the amounts will automatically adjust. And then you have an easier time and you don't need to calculate anything. And if you want to shop some of my products, they are linked below. Here are the different steps of the banana bread. I always have a tip at the bottom. And then we also have your pictures of your banana breads. So you can see what it looked like for the other people who already baked it. And then from, I think, um, next week onwards, we will have an app update. And then you can also write your feedback as like text messages in here. Yes, so that's at the very top. And then below you can see my new nut butter that is launching today and the coffee cinnamon bar. And then also some recipe ideas what to use the nut butter for in case you are done spooning it <laughs> but i always eat it with the spoon right off the jar but if you don't want to do that here are recipe ideas that you can use the nut butter for so all of that is in the app now okay mm. time for questions now were the winners from the Advent calendar giveaway announced already? No, but they are chosen. Let's say they are chosen, but we are going to contact and announce them next week. Um, eine Alternative zu Datteln oder einfach weglassen? Yeah, you, can, you could potentially leave out the dates. You could use raisins instead or maybe dried figs but otherwise you can also leave it out. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so quick now. Ah. Ah. Yes, naturally, Pam cannot be found in France, but you can order it in my shop to France. That for sure works. US is not included. I saw that quite a lot in the comments here, but it's really hard to um, ship food to the US with all of the customs, etc. So the shipping would be super expensive. The customs would be a hassle. So we decided not to do it. But I know there are also some company who do it for you. Like I think you can order to like a German company and then they send it to you as a private friend package. I know that is a business model that some companies do. So that would be like a last chance to, if you really want to have them. Mm. Mein Freund findet dieses Rezept auch so toll. Ich bekomme meistens nur ein Stück oder so ab. <laughs> That's a good feedback. Where is deine Schürze? I don't know. I still haven't asked my mom. If my mom is watching this live stream, you can... Mama, schreib's mal in die Kommentare. I don't know if she's watching, but she bought this one for me. 
Wie viele kleine Pamelas waren es denn auf dem Kalender? Um, everybody put in your number into the comments and then we see what the winner is. Whoever counted Pamelas on the calendar, now is your time to share your respond in the comments. Your birthday cake totally saved me on my birthday. It tasted amazing and it's a healthier version of my usual birthday cakes. <laughs> also happy to hear. You can find a lot of cakes in the camera. Baust du gerade Muskeln auf oder verfolgst du eine Abnahme? Um, she asked if I'm building muscle right now or if I'm losing weight right now. None of it, I would say. Like, For a pretty long time, I'm just kind of keeping my shape and I just eat balanced, I don't track calories, I don't track my meals, I just eat when I'm hungry, I train regularly, but I'm not having like a specific goal. And I think that's also a pretty nice um, state to be in because you kind of stay the same. Of course, there are like some tiny up and downs, but it's not like the yo-yo going up and down. So yeah. Just staying who I am because I really like my form right now. I'm very happy with it. Like I've been too skinny at some points. I've been a bit more flobby at some points, and I think right now it's pretty good. Yes, 73 is the number. You had 73 Pamela's on the counter. Schreibt mal in die Kommentare, wie ihr gesucht habt. Uh, write in the comments how you counted the Pamela's. Did you have a system or did you just count randomly? That's super interesting to me. First year with you and this year was the best year of my life. I did the best for myself and you taught me all of this. I'm so excited to spend 2023 with you. Happy to hear. Sending you lots of kisses. Will you allow more people on the Discord group? Yeah, I do have this Pammy's chat group. I think the amount of 660 people in there is pretty good right now. I think if it's like way more it's maybe it's gonna be like too full so we're gonna keep it for now and when it calms down i'm for sure going to take more people in mm. dum, dum, dum. Everybody's asking about my hair color today. I guess because you can now see like how black my hair is that is actually growing out of my body. I mean, since I have such a big, um, uh, such a, like roots now, I have so a großen Ansatz gerade. Now you can see what my actual hair color is. It's crazy, right? Um, yeah. Um, I'm. I decided to not reply to the hair color question anymore because every hair reacts differently to hair color and I had the situation that I recommended my color and I, I'm sure a lot of you still know it so the brand is called Phyto P-H-Y-T-O and they have like a pretty natural hair color that is not as aggressive it more feels like a, it feels more like a um, hair care routine to me like it doesn't affect my scalp it doesn't affect my skin and also my hair doesn't break so it is like a healthier version of a hair color um, but my, the actual color number that I use, I recommended it to some girls and they turned out to be a bit orangey, like to be like not have the same color but more orange. And that's why I don't want to take the risk of recommending my color anymore. But I can only tell you if you end up buying a color, I put my color on and I leave it on for like an hour at least. So way longer than it says on the package. Because I, if I only do the 20 minutes of the package, I also turn out to be orange. But I have to leave it on for super duper long and then I kind of scrape it to the side and have a look if it's already like not orange anymore, but blonde underneath. And then I go into the shower. Um, Mit Edding eingekreist und dann meinen Freund noch kontrollieren lassen. 
So you ruined the box. <lacht> ich habe sie eingekreist und eine Strichliste gemacht. Ich habe ein Foto gemacht und sie dann rausgestrichen. Ja, yeah, that's good. Yeah, taking a picture and then doing it um, digitally, I think was one of the smartest versions. Maybe not the most fun one, but definitely smart one. Mm. I missed your live workout I, as I'm, yeah, um, but it's saved on YouTube. The live workout of yesterday is saved on YouTube. And I'm not quite sure what time we will have for next week. I haven't done the workout plans yet, but I think we're going to do Saturday again. Um, I think that fits my schedule pretty well. And then the week afterwards, we're going to do it um, during the week. Ah, but then again, it's like dark so soon, right? Mm. And filming in the dark, I'm not sure if that works at home. Maybe we're always going to do it on the weekend in the morning, but let's see. Mm. Wie oft machst du Sport am Tag? Guys, I'm not doing sports several times a day. I'm um, doing sports like five times a week and then about an hour each time. I mostly do the 60 minute hardcore plan that you can also find in my app. It's similar to the workout plan that you see on Instagram, just a longer version. Sometimes I also include more weights because I also like to train with weights and I have like gym stuff here. So maybe once or twice a week, I do more kind of weight-based workouts, but basically it's a mixture of the 60 minute hardcore plan and then like one to two gym workouts. When will your new mystery cosmetic product launch? So my new company, Cosmetic Hair, will launch um, hopefully, hopefully in like September, August, September, October. Um, but I'm not done with all of the products yet. And as you know, I always want everything to be perfect first before I launch it. And I'm rather postponing my launch and postponing anything, everything, um, rather than selling something that I'm not happy with. That's why this nut butter also took me so long. Nut butter was one of my first wishes, one of my first ideas, and Naturally Pam has existed for two years now. And only now I have been able to launch my nut butter because all the times before I wasn't happy. I really wanted it to be perfect. Mm. And I think the texture speaks for itself now. It's like super smooth and super creamy. So ganz zart im Mund. And it has those caramelized almond chunks in between. And I think that was definitely worth the wait. And your feedback messages are the best. I have a story highlight on my channel. You can click on nut butter and then you see all of the feedback messages because the advent calendar people had the nut butter in their advent calendar before so they were able to taste it before the rest and they just make me smile so much mm. anything from my favorite one was i think my husband said babe we can mark this day in our calendar the day that everything changed the day that we tried Pamela's nut butter. <laughs> I think that was my favorite one by far. <laughs> but I also, today I'm going to cut a compilation because I asked you to send me selfie videos of yourself reacting to the nut butter and your videos are so, 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 so funny. I haven't finished the compilation yet, um, but I'm gonna do so today or tomorrow and that's gonna be very funny. I'm really looking forward to that. Mm. 
gibt es dieses Jahr wieder einen Adventskalender. Ja, yeah, we are brainstorming ideas for the Advent calendar now. I definitely want to do it on a way smaller scale than this year because this year I still had like a lot of Advent calendars and a lot of people and everything was pretty big and you also have to imagine um, the logistics in the background are like pretty complicated if you have thousands and thousands and thousands of calendars they have to be shipped everything has to be sorted people make mistakes with putting the wrong item in the wrong calendar bag then different people have different items on different days like if something is super big there's also a lot of um, facts that could potentially go wrong and I don't know if I want to do that again it was a beautiful process and you didn't notice 99% of it but in the background of course if something is big it also requires a lot of work so most likely I'm just gonna do everything way smaller this year to still have the excitement and still have an advent calendar and still have an advent calendar for my closest followers but just keep it smaller maybe let's see that's the plan for now mm. Okay, somebody asked, I want to answer to this one. <laughs> Normally I don't answer to that. Could you put more recipes into the app that are not for premium users but for free people? Honestly, I cannot understand how somebody even dares to ask that. Because as you know, I have so much work with the app I put in so many hours per week cooking the recipes, writing the recipes, translating them, Dennis is editing the pictures, there's like a whole team of 12 people behind it developing that app so you can have it on your phone. They are working on it almost every single day and the app costs 2 euro 50 for you per month. So 2 euro 50, 2 euro 50, that's like a very little amount, that's like one snack that you buy in a supermarket um, or like one, I don't know, something else, two bottles of water. So it's really not a lot. I really decided to make it cheap, to make it a cheap app, to make it accessible for everybody. So I'm having a hard time um, understanding the people who are still complaining. Yeah, true. Somebody says 2,50 Euro is actually too little. Everybody tells me that, but I wanted to make it accessible for everybody. Also, the YouTube videos, they are free for everybody because I don't want you to pay money for everything. I want this to be exciting and I rather want to reach more people and have it for free. But then for the app, because it's like so much work and also so much money from me that went into the side to the app. Um, yeah, I can maybe tell you even, I like from what I spent on developing that app, not my time, not my effort, but just the money I spent so you have the app on your phone, was definitely over 1 million euros. Definitely over 1 million. So we can have the app, not including my time. Welches Trockenshampoo kannst du empfehlen, bis dein eigenes rauskommt? Which dry shampoo for hair can you, um, can you recommend until your own launches? Yeah, honestly, I didn't really use one until now because I was never happy. I, ever, I always thought um, that it looks very flaky and then very white um, and doesn't soak it up very well or it has very artificial and not so healthy ingredients. So I am using my own one all the time now. Um, and the nice thing about mine, I guess, is also apart from the performance and the ingredients that I will have two colors for lighter hair and for darker hair. So if I'm using the blonde version, which I'm using, um, and I, I just put it on, I do like this, and it's gone. Like I cannot see it anymore. It's not like white powder on my hair, but it's still soaked up all of the fat. Like I haven't washed my hair for three or four days and this morning they looked very greasy but I didn't have the time to wash it because I was preparing the launch of my products 
So I used it and I guess I look pretty fresh now. I think you cannot really see that it was super greasy before. Das arme Mädel, das gefragt hat. Yeah, true. The poor girl that asked about the free recipes, I was bashing her. No, I didn't mean to bash her. I was just kind of like referring to a lot of people complaining about some things that cost money. But I guess I, I ask for money at like so little points in my community. I mean, other people do live streams and they put like batches here so you can donate money to them. That's not my thing. I don't want to ask for your money. That's why I feel like so offended when people complain about like two euros at one point. Um, plans to nach Deutschland to come? Yeah, I'm coming back to Germany next week. I'm coming back to Germany next week, honey. I have a lot of appointments, also for my beauty company on Tuesday. Um, and then we have to film new workouts, etc. So I'm coming back to Germany. Dup, 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 dup. <laughs> Chinese fans really like your videos. Yes. I also love the Chinese community. How much water do you drink per day? I have no freaking clue how much water I drink per day. Um, banana bread is almost done. Um, I have no clue. I just try to drink a lot, but I don't measure like how many liters it is. I also feel like some days I drink a lot a lot and then some days I drink less but I think that's fine just as eating food some days you're super hungry and some days you're not so hungry um, so I also my calorie intake for sure for sure differs day by day even a lot like some days I feel like I'm just eating I'm not even cooking meals I feel like I'm just eat, running around and just eating everything from the fridge and from here and from the cupboard and I just cannot stop and then other days I don't think about food until the afternoon I eat something and then I forget about it and then I eat something for dinner and I'm still happy and other days I cannot stop eating so I think it um, it's fine to like differ um, but water, I always try to drink a lot in the morning because I feel like when I drink a lot in the evening, it kind of sits heavy in my stomach and then I feel like a, like a camille, like a camel walking around with like a water belly. And I always feel like when I drink more water in the morning, um, it's like totally fine. So I try to drink more in the morning, less in the evening. And I like to start with warm water. I always, before I even eat something, I start with warm water about I have like a Happy to hear. Welche Änderungen planst du dieses Jahr in der PAM -App? Which changes are going to be in the PAM -App? So I think the coolest one, which is coming out in one to two weeks, um, are two things. So first of all, I want to make the workout plans more flexible. Do I have pictures? Ah, I have pictures on this phone that is recording right now. I'm sorry. Otherwise, I would have shown you. Um, so more flexible in terms of you can also put in your own workouts and not only my videos. So even if you have a tennis match or you go playing volleyball with your friends or you go to the gym and have a booty day over there, you can still use the workout planner and put it in there with like your own little batch and then you could can put in the length, what it was, a name and also calories burned if you want to. And then you can also
to the gym batch for like 60 minutes and then I did the burnout by Pamela in the end. And then you can still use the check marks, um, but just use it more flexible. And we also have um, more options of changing entire days. Maybe you were sick on Monday, but you want to do the plan from Monday on Thursday. Then you can easily exchange the dates with like some very few clicks. So I think we just made the entire interface more um, easy and easier to use and more flexible but I think the putting in your own workout part is very exciting and then what I'm also very excited about is the mood tracker and um, because I will include a mood tracker on the home feed and then you can click on there are like different smileys happy sad sick angry blah 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 and then at the end of the week on sunday and on monday you can see how your mood changed over the week and then you can kind of reflect and see what your mood did because i always think it's a I'm really interested and every day I ask myself how are you because I'm really interested and I want to feel how I feel so I think the mood tracker is wonderful to reflect and take a moment of um, yeah appreciating yourself and feeling how you feel and in the future we're trying to save the data for a longer time so you can also see it over a month or several months and kind of also maybe make connections of okay I was feeling better when I did a workout or when I did this and that so it's connected to your planner but for right now we cannot save the data yet because you don't need to sign up in the PAM app which is nice for people because you don't need to sign up but that also means that we cannot save the data for so long because you do not have an account so we need to change that first and then we can save it for a longer time um, but for now it's going to be saved for a week and then you have like a weekly recap at the end of every week about your mood. Oh my gosh, that was a long monologue here. I trage nur noch Hosen der Pemex Puma. more minutes until we can finally taste it and eat it. Mm. When, you, when do you start working out after sickness? Also an important question. And it's always a hard question because every time you are sick and every time I have been sick, it's always like, okay, can I start again or do I have to wait one more day? <laughs> um, again, ask yourself how you feel. I wouldn't push myself. Like training when you're still sick is never a good idea because then you just extend your sickness and your body really needs the time to recover. Like there is no sense of rushing into working out again because you will just extend your period of sickness, which is not what we want. Um, but in any case, if you feel like you are ready, you can start with a slow workout. For example, the live stream of yesterday is super suitable for that one because it's slow. We kind of still train all of the muscles, but we don't push ourselves to the absolute limits. You will not be super sweaty. You can do my Pilates workouts. You could even start with the stretching and just see, see how your pulse is going, if you're feeling good or if it's too intense. Um, and then you, I would just start with a slower kind of workouts.
Aha, that is looking good. Banana Bread Express. Okay. Looking like this, looking very beautiful. I'm gonna do Okay, plate is here, and now let's see if I'm lucky and let's see if that goes well, but I'm just going to try to put it on here safely. Okay, I think we're good. Have our result, the banana bread. Ta 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 ta. Ta 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 ta. It's gonna be very juicy and very moist. And now let's cut a piece and let's have a taste test. the moods and um, so you always have like a, not always but you mostly have like different pop-ups every single time um, so that's what I plan I haven't written the list yet but that's what's gonna happen when you have the mood tracker mm. <laughs> yes I put the chocolate in and on the banana bread Okay, let's try it. Look, that's what I meant. It's not like a normal banana bread, but it has like a lot of different chunks and a lot of different textures in here. 
so we kind of make it more exciting and not a whoosh. A piece of banana bread. Mm. Oh, that smells so good. I have fast forgotten how good that actually smells. I almost forgot how good it tastes. I haven't baked it. Sometimes, if you haven't eaten something for a couple of months, you forget how good it actually is. Mmm. Yes, it's amazing. I I agree. Mm. Will you do a gym style YouTube video? Yeah, good question. I am planning for February to actually have a really gym style video filmed in my gym. And then you will then hit like the pause button on YouTube when you have like a break in between like the heavy exercises. But it's gonna be like a heavy kind of booty day that I would do. Um, but I'm not quite sure on how to film it yet and how to structure it so you could actually use it in a gym. But I'm thinking about it for February. Sprichst du mit deiner Familie auch Englisch? Nee. Welche Muskelgruppe trainierst du am liebsten? Which body part do you train? Uh, do you love to train the most? I think my abs. I mean, I do leg days because I think it's important and I love to see the results on my booty, but they are always so exhausting. And for ab days, I think the pain. Announce the live stream of the workout session tonight or tomorrow as well. Enjoy eating the nut butter. Enjoy eating your banana bread. Send me pictures if you baked something so I can repost you in my story. And otherwise, I think we are at the end. Have a wonderful Sunday. And talk to you soon. <laughs>